Okay, so let's see if we can do this video in under eight minutes. So for this video, I'll show you how to remove your navigation bar, how to remove your status bar, and how to get around without having those things. So first things first, if you're gonna remove the nav bar, you need a way to get around. So let's jump in the Play Store, download navigation gestures, that's the app that I use. And we're also gonna download this, navigation gestures, the premium add-on, I think it was maybe a dollar, so. Download that one as well as this app called Swipe Gestures. And once we download that one, actually, you know what? Let's go back in the app. So we're going to start by, actually, let's give it the permissions that it needs to do whatever it needs to do. So we'll grant it the permissions here. And actually, if you go back and look at it, this app is really cool. It does a lot of other things where if you plug in your headphones or plug in the charger, it'll do whatever you want it to do. But for me, I don't really care about those things. All I want to do is swipe from the top left and I want it to go back. So we'll go back to giving it the permissions that it needs. And let's see. Hey, there's navigation gestures. So let's click that, give it the permissions. And now what we're going to do is jump into settings and enable developer options. So to do that, go to About Phone, Software Information, click Build Number seven times, and then Booyah! Now if we go back to the very bottom, Developer Options is right there, and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. So now if we were to plug in our phone to a computer, which is what we're going to be using, we should get this message that will pop up on our phone. So we're going to hit OK to all of that. And this basically just allows us to customize our phone with the computer. And that's what we're going to do. And of course, none of this stuff is permanent, so it's okay. So if we go back into navigation gestures, we're going to want to, let's see, next, 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 next. Okay, so if we, go, if we jump back into the app, we're going to enable gesture pill, click hide navigation bar, and... We'll be using ADB to do this part, but I'll explain that a little bit later. So before we go any further, let's go back to the Play Store and let's download Substratum. Let's also download Andromeda. And we're also gonna download, what's the other one called? Substratum, I think it's Samsung System Mods. Yep, there it is. So we're going to download those and now we're going to jump into using the computer. So don't get scared. You can do it. It's super easy. So first start by clicking the link in the description below to install ADB on your computer. And the website is super simple and easy to use. It gives you steps and they're, you know, follow one, two, three, four, download the zip file here, do number two, do number three, do number four and once you get to number four, that'll, that's where the command prompt, I guess, will pop up. And this is where you're going to put in all the fun stuff. So right here is the next window you should see. And the code that we're going to use is this one. So we're going to click period backslash ADB devices. Click enter after you're done then enter the next one and just pause the video take a screenshot and do that and next we're gonna don't also don't forget about the one that i mentioned earlier so if we look in navigation gestures this was the one that we were given so we're going to type all of that in press enter once we're done and move to the next step so the next step is click the second link in the description to download andromeda on your computer So Andromeda is basically going to allow us to use Substratum. And again, it's super simple. Just follow the instructions, download whichever one fits your computer, open the file, click start Andromeda. Once you do that, when you go back into your phone, open Andromeda, you should get a green light. Connection status is connected. So what I'm going to do now is just customize that little pill in the bottom. So I'm going to tell it what I want it to do. Um, how I want it to act, how I want it to look. Basically, I'm going to take control of this little pill. So, let's see.
so the cool thing also about this is that you can you know customize it to however you want where you know if you want it to look you know blue red black purple whatever color you want it you can do that if you swipe up and you want it to do this you can do that if you swipe down if you tap it if you double tap it you can get it to do basically whatever you want it to do so it's pretty cool so have fun with that so for me i'm going to make that transparent because i don't really want to see it and let's see let's see now what we're gonna do is if you notice at the top left there's a little bit of a like a shadow I'm not sure if you can see it. let me get out of here you can see that little shadow right there so we're gonna get rid of that so to do that we're gonna go into swipe gestures and that's from that app so let's get here and so yeah I don't want to see any type of shadows where the swiping area is at definitely don't want to see that so let's make all of that stuff transparent and once we got it all cleaned up now we can jump into substratum so let's do that click system mods and here is where you can do some more customizing you can customize your always on display the system ui the settings the font whatever you want to do you can customize it so it's pretty cool there's a lot of different options on here so you know that way you can make your phone your own so once we do that, if we're going to get rid of the, I just thought about that. If we're going to get rid of the, um, what's it called, status bar, usually you would just swipe down on the status bar and you would activate it. But since we're going to get rid of that, we're also going to want to go into the settings and activate. There's a way that you can have that pulled down by using the little finger fingerprint sensor in the back. So we're going to do that. And after we do all this stuff and... Then we're going to just restart the phone. So say goodbye. All this is going to look completely different once we hit restart. So once you hit restart, it'll look like this. And booyah. How does that look? There's also this one. Open quick open notification panel. But that's about it for this video. Be sure to hit like. Leave a comment if you have questions. Subscribe. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. See ya.